on the other stream. You're the DJ, not Dragon. <laughs> Man, every crypto cycle, there's some crazy DJ and stuff. So I don't know what it's going to be this time. I, I don't think memes are going away. It doesn't seem to be. But uh, too rich. Yeah. But Max, why don't you create your own coin or your NFT collection? Um, I hate to tell you, but December 2nd, 2019, somebody made the best coin. They made the best uh, thing ever. And we kicked off a community that fiercely wants to win. So I already have all I need to win at this game. I don't need to go make a coin or go you know, chase shiny objects or pennies and photos, Frank and all that stuff. Nothing against anyone who creates their coins. And I mean, a lot of my all my friends around here and a lot of people have had on the show a million times to have, to have their NFTs, have them, whatever. Um, everyone gets to decide what they want to work on. It's just not for me. I'm here for Hex, man. I'm here for Pulse Chain. I'm here for Pulse X. I'm here for the blue chips. I'm here for the ecosystem coins that I like that support the blue chips. So I already have everything I need to get rich, richer, whatever. Uh, retire, be a force for good in the world. You know, all that stuff. Um, the coin, the community, the mindset. Why would I want to spend time and energy on other things that, you know, would, would, that's the thing. Like if you, if you're doing that, you, it's just, it's just more risk. So I feel like I'm already in, I'm already playing in the risky part of crypto, right? Like, uh, I mean, obviously there's a lot of data that backs up why it's, you know, to me a no brainer, but I, to a lot of people, we would already be playing in the risk ecosystem. Why would I want to keep like upping, upping my risk when I think hex is going to do what I need to do. Pulse is going to do what I need to. Um, I don't, I, I try to avoid doing that, which I talked about. If you look at the, um, the plan, the million, the million uh, stream I did the other day, RH max, the plan for millions of crypto, that one. Um, I talked about that, uh, quite a bit as well. And the projects that I do like, there's a few that I like, um, for sure. And I have them on show a lot too, as you can see. So anyways, I'd rather spend my time helping people understand, get the best information, avoid drama and. Every time I would, if you know, every time I talk about something else that isn't hex or pulse chain or otherwise, I'm taking time and energy away from that, right? Every time I make a tweet that is not that, I'm not, I'm implicitly not talking about the products that you know I think are the best. So uh, I try to focus thing on it, but, but again, there's plenty of good ecosystem projects too. Uh, I don't want to alienate uh, people and stuff like that. I just, I'm just not going to talk about stuff I don't like. Um, that's totally my prerogative too, and. Uh, Feel free to anyone out there. Feel free to get a show and talk about all the coins that you like and all that stuff. And it's it'll be great. But um, I really try to stay. I try to do. I try to talk about the things I think are good and healthy, and avoid the things that I think aren't. I'm not okay sacrificing my reputation or sacrificing my money or or anything else. Um, giving giving time to things that I don't believe are great and awesome and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't plan on talking about that, but it's not that meme coins are bad. It's just, they just have a lot of disadvantages and they encourage behavior. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them encourage behavior. Go look at the charts, go look at the videos I posted on meme coins and stuff about, you know, you, you hit sort and they just, most of them are like 99% down, got almost to zero. They just, a lot of them just encourage behavior that just gets people wrecked. So I don't like that. I don't, I don't want to promote that or support that. I'm glad they exist. I can hold two things in my mind, right? I can hold, I'm glad they exist. I'm glad people get what they want out of them and they enjoy them and it brings people in and maybe uh, hopefully keeps them to stay, you know, lets them stay. But I can also say, I don't, I'm not that interested in them and I don't want to talk about them. So I don't that often. So hopefully they bring money in, pulse chain, hopefully they bring volume, all that stuff. Um, it's like, it's, it's like if somebody made you a king for the day. Yeah, would you ban casinos and lottery tickets and brothels and bars and so on? Like these things can't really be described as forces for good in the world, can they? Like it's kind of hard to make a case for that. But you still probably wouldn't ban them, right? Like you still there's people, you know, to, to each their own, right? So if you wouldn't decree, uh, but you also wouldn't decree there's there's one on every street corner, right? Like you wouldn't want them to be like too many everywhere, that sort of thing. So. Um, yeah, I wouldn't sign my parents up for a, a membership at the casino, so I'm not gonna, not, not, not gonna talk about things that I don't think are long-term healthy games for the most part. Um, but I can still recognize the few benefits of these things existing while not supporting or encouraging people to buy them. So, uh, I talk about, yeah, same thing with leverage, you know, NFTs, all this stuff. Um, some of them I found interesting, 
and bringing value, but you know, I'm not saying they're for everyone. So again, talk about what's my prerogative, my perspective, my preferences. So anyways, hope you enjoy what I was talking about. Dave said I would ban them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not blaming you, but, uh, I'm not saying that's unreasonable, but for the most part, people like, you know, again, you can hold two. I can hold two things in my mind. One, people enjoy them and they have the right to exist. And two, I don't need to talk about them that much. So that's, uh, that's the way I think about it.